Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be using my Elizabeth Craft Design. I have literally been sitting on these for weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks. I don't even know why I haven't used them. It's crazy. So I thought, why not? I'm going to use them. So I have the Sidekick Essential 24 and it's got all the present dies and the ho ho ho. Then I also have the Reinforcement Variety Pack. Love those. I can't wait to use this one. This one I've got because I was having a look at all the tags that were coming off of the cloves all the family's clothes and other piece, bits and pieces. And I was like, I want to make some product tags. So that's what caught my eye with this one because of the reinforcers that go round as well. Then I also have the Planner Essential 55 file folder page with pockets. I have the Planner Essential 53 half tab page with Christmas lights. I mean, oh, look absolutely stunning then we have the window page one and that has the something magical down the side with the polar bear the trees and the tabs then i also have the window page two the half tab page two and that has a kind of belly band as well with the christmas tree border then I have the Christmas figures. So I have the deer. Now this stamp set, this die set goes with this stamp set that I have already used. So there's the die for the slides and also the die for the tabs as well, along with Santa and the deer. Then I have, let's get that out of the way because I can't see, file folder set two. File folder set one. Sorry, thought I'd already said set one. Um, and then curved library pocket, alphabet tabs, and library pocket filler cards. Oh, I'm in love with them all. So we're not going to play with them all. But these Christmas ones are perfect for my journal. Absolutely perfect. And what else I have as well, I bought these off of Amazon. And their little six bar ring pulls, which are going to go on there. They also have the little tools as well. I'm missing one. So it comes in, you basically get five. And I think it was about seven pounds. So five for seven pounds to make your own ring binder journal, I think is, is absolutely. Well, down there, perfectly down the middle. Yep. So I'm just gonna poke a hole. This is where you need the big one. So perfect.
and they just clip on there and And that is your ring binder done perfectly in your journal. So, yeah, I absolutely love them. Absolutely brilliant. All nice and straight, all ready to be decorated. So, that's that part done. The Elizabeth Craft Designed paper pack as well. And I think I might use some of the papers out of this along with some of my Tim Holtz papers too. So I've got all my stuff sorted. I've just had a bit of a clear out, which is, I need, it needed, it needed doing. I still had Halloween stuff laying around. So I, I've got, um, this is all bits of scraps and stuff that I want to use up. I found these in TK Maxx a few weeks ago. Um, I think it might have been when I did my big haul, but they were in a different bag, so they wasn't in my haul video. Um, and I, I just, I love them. I absolutely love them. They're perfect. So I am going to use these in there. So I'm going to put them up there. I've got some scraps of chipboard, grey board. I also have my Tim Holtz wallpapers and Christmas papers too. Some of my uh, GCD, I think it is, paper. Also some papers from the pad that I got from the range. Some more just pattern paper, some white cardstock, some more grey board. Another piece of scrap grey board, some Prima, some tea dyed and coffee dyed papers, which I want to use in there as well. And just some random pieces of 12 by 12 that I found. I do have a lot more, but these just happen to be around my desk at this moment in time. Right, so I'm just going to put these right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love that the front page... Because normally you throw these pages away, but actually it's not. <laughs> That's brilliant. I knew as soon as I saw these papers that I was going to love them.